Hello all, welcome to Tech Assembler. And in this tutorial, we will be discussing about iron buttons. So what are iron buttons and its default functionalities and its CSS, how to customize its CSS according to our projects and according to our requirements. So let's do our hand dirty and let's begin. This is the iron button page and in this we have multiple buttons. So this is the default button and this is the anchor button like we have seen hrefs what we use for the normal uh, hyperlinks and reference and this is uh, the changing of the background color plus the dark and the light modes and the length of the button plus the corner radius and this is all about it so let's see how it works so this is our project structure inside app folder we have project uh, we have pages so here you can apply the combination of these properties like color C L O R, and then you can apply the primary color over here or you can specify the function associated with it also so let's see how it looks so this is uh which we have given it a property let me just shift it to so this is the property which we have given like color so you need to give this dash dash color because it specify that you are changing the color uh, that means the variable assigned to a color property so it's uh, whenever you encounter a double dash so you just re remember that it is a variable in which you are just assigning a different color which you want to be applied to that button okay so this is how we have changed the color property to yellow and the background is green over here and this is the background when it is activated so i don't think that you can see over here and this is the color activated it becomes black so this you can see over here whenever i click it becomes black and we have also uh, assigned a color property like this if you just give outline and the block if you just remove the outline then you will see over here it is a uh, color primary has been applied over here so whenever you apply a uh, fill so the color property won't be applied over there because fill outline means you are not applying a color to that button or that css okay so this is how you can shape the round also and you can use the icon okay inside a button so this is how you can use the icon just icon template and a slot where you want to use it either start or end so you just write over here end so it will just shift this icon to this end okay so nothing rocket science and this is the end works and uh, if you want the icon only uh, in your button so you can specify icon only there's no text will be displayed over here this is the size of the button you can specify that this property also like size is large small or excel let's find out what are more properties associated with it so <clears throat> this is all we have discussed like expand block and full and this is the fill means clear outline and solid so if you give a solid then the solid background will be applied to this which is for the toolbar okay and this is the size is small large and default three size available over here and this is the property section by default it is button type or you can use it like a button type or you can also uh, just give it to a download that will download the html okay of your whole application and this is the color you can specify the different colors you want like primary or secondary the default colors which we what we have in our ionic applications or if you want your custom color so you just give the class to that uh, button and give the property over there and this is the disabled button this is the property which you can use over here like i just want to disable this button so disabled equals to and here just need to write true okay by default it is called false and now it will be disabled so you will not be able to click over here see so this can be uh, you can bind from the backend also if you want uh, your 
you want your button to be disabled for a particular time of period or whenever you are displaying something so you can just bind it from the backend also and let's find out other thing this is the download which i just already told you and this is the expand you just give a block or full only two properties and this is the fill which i have already told you fill attribute clear default outline solid okay and this is the mode for example you want to use your android button in your ios application so you just give the mode equals to in semicolon ios on the md md is for material design for android and this is the relation whenever you use href so you need to specify the relation over here and this is the animation whenever you just uh, from one page to another page or you want to perform some animations between href or whenever you are just navigating from two different pages so you can use href uh, sorry you can use the router animation over there the same the router direction forward or backward you can use uh, like this so i don't have any needs i don't have only one page uh, so i'll just show you so just need to specify out the outlet and you just give it over here this is back whatever the back okay so whenever you just move from this page to another page so it will just give you a backward direction so like you, you move from one page to another so when you move like one and two then from two to back to one then you can use this router direction just give the property back okay and this is the shape property one it only support one shape till now that is the round and this is the size you can use the strong by default it is false or you can give it true this is for only the font weight and this is the target for example you want to open up the new page or the any of the reference it is specially used with the href for example you want to uh, point to the another website so you just give the href and then you can use this target property in that you can give the blank or the self or the parent so it will open up that page uh, inside that application or outside that application in a default browser so this is the type you can give so by default it is button so you can give reset or the submit this these two type are used especially with uh, your forms and this is these are the event you can bind so you can only bind this iron blur or i especially iron blur on your uh, web web applications or this is the iron focus whenever you focus on that button you can perform any of the act, action and this is the custom properties css as, as i told you uh, you can change many of the things so like border color whenever the uh, color button is activated so you want to change the default color of the button to red or any of the specified color you can change the opacity bottom padding of the button and this is all so you, you can also use the slot as i told you before so this is all about uh, iron button so you, if you want this code so please visit my github repository link is below Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.